Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to do a small repair on a sump basin. Uh, looks like the customer might have drilled some holes inside to allow you know, more water to get into the basin. But what it did was it actually created some erosion problems. So we're going to put some fabric around the outside of the sump basin and solve that problem. Let's take a look. So you can see it right away. There's some erosion taking place here on the sides. And I would imagine that the homeowner has drilled some holes into the basin um, to allow that area back there to drain. And that's just, you know, what happens of course is there's holes here in the side of the basin. Water's pulling that sand down into the basin. The pump actually works great and it's sending it out to the street. That's not a problem, but the erosion will continue to take place unless we can actually get some type of fabric to keep that sand from coming into the basin. So again, we're just digging out around the basin and it looks like when I opened it up, only the holes are only of this direction. And that's why I thought it was probably added so that they would try to collect some of this water here on the side of the lanai because the pool patio, it, it drips off this direction and it does look like those stones are pointing and graded this way. So now basically we've got the liner around there. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm talking to the camera, Cindy. <laughs> 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 so I've got, <laughs> I've got the liner wrapped around the basin and the lid's actually just holding it tight. We're backfilling that area and that should take care of that problem. This is a great example of how a French drain with catch basins should be installed. You can see beginning here at this catch basin and notice it's just a little six by six, my favorite catch basin. We add catch basins to the low spots of the yard, and then we add French drain. Remember, this yard was totally underwater, and so the French drain here, we like to use Easy Flow, which is perforated pipe surrounded with the styrofoam peanuts. And it does not float out of the ground, especially when it's buried down a foot or more deep. That's virtually impossible. So if you've got a saturated yard that stays flooded all the time, remember how systems work. Catch basins collect immediate surface water, so any water standing in your yard is being carried away by the catch basin. The French drain, whether you use gravel and perforated pipe or you use the easy flow, it's the same. This is collecting subsurface water. It does not collect water standing on top of the ground. This homeowner was so happy with what we did for her and totally solved, you know, this ground being saturated, couldn't even run a lawnmower through it. But they went ahead and drilled some holes in the side of that sump basin and created their own little problem. This line discharges all the way out at the street. This is a great project for the do-it-yourselfer. The key is to remember how each system works and go back through some of the videos and you'll understand how a French drain collects subsurface water and how a catch basin collects immediate surface water runoff. A combination of French drains and catch basins will give you a 100% guarantee that you will have a dry yard. So all done here, wanted to make a quick note. My hat is from Thai Landscaping. Tom and Don sent me a hat, a gift. And if you guys are in their area, New Jersey area, and you need a rainwater drainage system, those are the people to call. Look up Thai Landscaping. And thanks for the, ta the hat, Tom. It it's a great hat. I'm not a hat wearer, but I like it. It's keeping that sun out of my eyes, so it's a great little gift. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.